Hello guys, this is a remake of my old video. I decided to make that video for two reasons. First, the quality and camera work is much better now, I think. Also, making process is slightly improved. At the start of that video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel, please, to get notifications about my future lure making videos. Also, for my subscribers, I prepared project files, so if you're not familiar with editing, just hit the subscribe button, send me an email, and I'll send you a few eye designs for free. You'll find my email in video description below. I printed eyes on water slide decal paper, which I cut to smaller sections. That way they are easier to work with. I put them into a water for about 40 to 50 seconds. Then I transfer them to a holographic foil. I use a paper towel to get rid of the water. Three hours later, when the eyes are fully dry, I may proceed to the next step. To cut out the eyes I used a leather punch. It took me just over an hour to punch all of this out. For this part I used a stand that I made from piece of wood with a bunch of screws in it. I put a little bit of a glue on every screw and now I can start putting the eyes on. To get ready for applying epoxy, I need to make a little cone from a copy paper. To do that, I cut about one third of A4 page and prepared a few pieces of packing tape. I am forming a paper cone and covering its entire surface with tape. That way, I'll not get my hands covered in epoxy.
Here's a little epoxy mixing tip for you guys. Whether it's for making eyes or clear coating lures, epoxy is mixing much easier when heated a little bit. So I keep it in a kids bottle warmer. It's a great piece of equipment that helps a lot, especially when you're making a lot of lures because you have a perfect temperature all the time. I used syringes to measure two equal amounts of epoxy and mix them in a plastic shot glass. Here you need to use your imagination to see me pouring epoxy into a cone because for some reason it just didn't record. I cut the end of the cone and the epoxy starts to drop on our holographic eyes. With the cocktail stick I spread the epoxy on the entire surface. To remove the bubbles I use the heat gun. Uh, thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video hit the like button please uh, feel free to share the video and make sure you are subscribed to my channel